Hey and welcome to the drill. Today I will show you how to create this Mercedes logo inside Microsoft Word. So when we want to draw this star, you would maybe go to insert shapes, drop down menu, and here is a stars and banners. And as you can see, there is a four point star, five point star, any point of star except for the three point star. We don't have anything like three point star for the default shapes, which is kind of shame. But uh, we've already covered this in a previous tutorial for drawing stars and gears inside Microsoft Word. So I will actually start with this one. This should have a macro which will allow us to draw the star. So if I open the macro and just run it, you will see I get a nice looking star with many spikes. So I will lower the number of segments to just six because I want to have three point star. And I, I get something which it doesn't look quite like a star. So I have to lower this radius value so the bigger radius will be 100 the smaller one will be maybe like 15 or so so if i run this voila i get a nice looking three point star which should be a perfect as a base for our mercedes logo so what i will start with i will change the theme to be maybe this blue warm option then i will right click select format shape it may not be visible select format shape and what I will start with is I will maybe change this fill color to some different one. Maybe this blue gray one. I will open the effects drop down menu and in the 3D rotation I will select the preset perspective front. Then I will scroll up to the tab bevel and I will increase the width. And as I'm increasing the width using the tab arrow on my keyboard you can see that it's getting a 3D shape. So I will, you know, keep increasing the width until all the sides are connected and creating this nice looking 3D effect. I may increase the height as well a little bit so it's more visible. Now the problem of tweaking this shape to perfection is that we have three different things which we can change or maybe even more. We can change the shape fill to have any color, then we can change the material to different material, we can change the lighting and we can of course change the angle of the lighting so we have quite so many variables to get to the right result and all the time i was trying to create this kind of blue you know metal thing but i ended up with the you know something quite different with like uh, orange or maybe yellow going to dark hue so so a little bit different than the usual blue color used for the for the uh, chrome effect but i kind of like this effect so i will show you how i've created this this version and it will be up to you to create a different color variations. So what I did is I've used the gradient fill for the for the shape. So I've used the gradient fill and I will maybe move this like uh, like this so you can see the colors. And I've used the gradient going from this lighter blue color to the darker blue color. It's, it's just you know a little bit of tint of blue. It's not really a real blue color but a gray with a blue tint. And I've used it to go from top to bottom so the bottom the top is the lighter color the bottom is a darker color so it has to be set to 90 degrees otherwise it will be go from left to right so that's set to 90 degrees the next thing i've used is for the 3d itself i've used the material to be the metal one which is you know the difference between those four materials it's they have a different amount of highlights so if i select the right ones you will see i get much more highlights and I've changed the lighting to have this warm use, the, it's called the sunrise. And immediately as I've changed it, you can see that it changed quite a lot. I've probably increased the height even a little bit more so you can see it's, it's getting much more contrast look. And I may also change the angle a little bit, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm fine with the default one. Maybe I will change it to 10 degrees. Okay, that's basically it for the, for the main shape. So I can also change the page background colors to some darker color and I have to create this ring. I cannot just create a new shape being the oval because I want this 3D effect to be applied only around the edges. So instead of inserting a new oval, I will insert a new shape being this circle hollow and I will try to draw it around the size of the shape. Then I will use this yellow handle to make this a little bit smaller like maybe like this and try to position it properly over the shape. I will right click select uh, send to back and of course set the same fill so set the same gradient fill set the no outline and for the 3D effect I will set the very same option so I will open the 3D presets and select the perspective front then I will raise the width until I see those lines connecting the 3D shape the 3D bevel like this 
the material should be set to metal and the lighting of course to this warm it's called the sunrise yeah sunrise angle 10 degrees like this and I kind of like how it's being positioned right now so what I will do is I will select both shapes I will copy paste them and what I will do is I will in, in this 3d settings I will add some contour to it so I will increase the contour to maybe like six points then I will send it everything to back and move it to the same spot so it will get this black outline but where the, where the shapes are touching it will not get the black outline kind of like it this way the next thing we can uh, the last thing which we can do is we can somehow emph emphasize or make the connect connection between the sides a little bit more obvious so i will insert a new line so insert shapes a line and draw it like like this then i will set it to gradient line and what i will do is i'll probably set the width to maybe like five points or so right now so i can see what's happening for all the gradient stops i will change the color to be white and I probably need only three or so. The last one, this is this is the one on the bottom, will be set to, to fully transparent like this, and the top one will be transparent a little bit, maybe like this. And then I will move everything around just so you know it's only around this edge, and then lower the width to maybe like one and a half points, like so. Then I can copy paste this shape. I can rotate it so I can have to move those individual individual points. The end will be here, and the start will be here, like this. And then I will do it one more time for the third spike of this of this inner shape, like this. So it's fading towards this edge, and I can do the very same thing for the outer circle as well. So I will zoom out a little bit, then I will insert a new shape, being the oval this time, and I will try to draw it in a size that's you know it's around the size of this uh, of those three D walls touching. I will set the fill to no fill no fill so not white but no fill and of course outline will be gradient line again i can increase the width or maybe i can just select the selection pane or show the selection pane and make sure that everything else is being hidden just so i can see only this only this circle again all those gradient stops should be set to white color and two gradient stops in the middle should be set transparent to, to 100 percent so only the the gradient stops on the left and right side are visible and i will rotate it by i think like 45 degrees and i will make this left one which is this one this is this stop i will make it a little bit more obvious like this and the, and the second one is not that visible maybe like this i'm pretty happy with this gradient so i can show everything back and then i have to just align this properly because as you can see it's a little bit bigger than it needs to be and you can see it's snapping to you know a lot of different things so what i can do is i can select i believe it's layout align grid settings and in here i can say snap objects to other objects if i unselect this one i should be able to resize it much much precisely because right now it's not snapping to anything so this will allow me to make the size change as i want it to be and that's probably it that's all for the mercedes logo and how to create it in microsoft word i can show you one more word file where i was experimenting with different look of the of the actual logo and as you can see i was trying to get this metal look using the blue tints i don't think it's bad looking but it's just not not perfect i kind of i like the previous one the, the yellow one much better than those blue ones but Again, it's up to you, you know. It's it's really simple as as just making sure that you will use a different lighting settings and you will use a different material and you will get very different results. Here I was using this harsh lighting with a default material. Maybe I was using even mat material, not the not the uh, metal one, and I was getting some kind of metal effect. And that's really it. That's all for the Mercedes logo inside Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching.